Hello guys, this is Rosa with the Single in a Gaming College, and uh, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd see this number pop on my channel, and uh, I never thought I'd see myself to this day being extremely popular uh, amongst the girls in Panzer, Train Sim, and War Thunder community. So uh, it really means a lot to me, and I hope to uh, proceed into the future with uh, even better and more fun content. And hopefully we can get to 10,000 10, subscribers, so uh, looking forward to that. Uh, but anyways, let's get on with today's Q&A. Yes, uh, in the last video I did say I want to do a Q&A, which means you have to put in the comments, hashtag AskRosehip. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to be going through these comments uh, pretty shortly, but uh, yeah. One thing I need to say though is uh, if you haven't gone onto my Twitter, please do so and follow me on Twitter because I'm normally doing more uh, updates and whatnot. I've cleared out a lot of my old tweets because uh, it used to be all like liked tweets and whatnot from my videos, uh, no, from like channels, other channels' videos and whatnot. So I've all I've cleaned it up. As, uh, I can now make a new fresh start on it. And uh, yeah, please go on Twitter and follow me there. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Why do you like Rosehip that much? Well, it's not so much that I like Rosehip. I love Rosehip. Uh, she's my absolute waifu. Uh, but more so, she's actually the only character I've ever come across that actually fits my personality. She's my persona in real life. <laughs> I'm like the male equivalent of Rosehip. Only a bit taller. Uh, and with black hair, but I still have like the same colored eyes, so that's something I have something similar with her. But uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but I have similar personality traits as Rosip. And uh, going through the list, yes, I can see that quite clear. Uh, we both like to do things extremely quickly, I like to rush things, and sometimes we do get extremely cocky. Um, and also, uh, she's extremely lovable uh, and quite friendly, much like me. Unless you go on her um, other side, yeah, she's not always seen on her other side. But in like manga and whatnot, uh, you always do, you tend to see her uh, mm, angrier side. Maybe I do tend to get you know quite uh, on the bad mood and whatnot, and that does affect me in uh, my. Uh, lifestyle and whatnot, but uh, yeah, both Rosip and I we share the, a similar, if not the same, amount of traits of our personality and characteristics. So uh, yeah, that's why I like Rosip because we both share the same personality and characteristics. Right, from the Changeling King, do you come up with the jokes in the videos? Or do you have others to give you ideas? Well, if you're talking about the Girls and Panzer Crack videos, um, most of the jokes, if not all, but only like one or two percent of it, is from me. All of the jokes came from me. I'm <coughs> sorry. But I actually do some uh, research and uh, go a lot of like looking at other anime cracks, especially from Anime Brain. Uh, shameless plug here. Anyways, um, yeah, and I tend to look at his videos and uh, see if I can come up with some joke, uh, come up with some, uh, you know, memes of my own using Girls and Panzer with a similar kind of style and whatnot. Um, I do have other people having giving me ideas, especially on my Discord and even in comments and whatnot on my Girls and Panzer Crack videos. So yeah, a lot of these are my own jokes and a lot of these are also recycled and a lot of these are from my Discord. So yeah. Uh, the Gaming Scout, hashtag ro Ask Rosehip. What do you think of Katusha in Girls and Panzer? What, you mean the uh, little lolly Russian? Well, I guess she's okay. Um, nothing to it. I mean, she does talk a lot. She does boss around, but... Uh, mm. uh, Drake191200 uh, What do you think of us as your community? Are we worth enough for St. Gloriana, uh, Gloriana Gaming College? Also, congrats on 5k. Well, what do you guys think? You guys support me. So, uh, yes, I am really grateful uh, that you are part of my community. You guys give me so much support, so much love and effort into my videos and whatnot. Um, yeah, I am really appreciated that you, you guys love my content. Unlike the proportion amount of people who like to troll and put dislikes, or people who actually put di dislikes for a purpose that think that my channel is shit. Well, you can go suck a chode. Anyways, yes, you guys are worth 
for the St. Gloriana Gaming College. As always, please go on Discord and join my Discord server. Funny enough, we already have like over 300, nearly over 350 members, so yeah, it's climbing. Heck, Stir, SJR, sorry if I pronounce it really wrong, but anyways, uh, when will you try World of Tanks or Girls and Panzer, World of Tanks, PS4, etc, etc? Um, funny thing is, I don't like World of Tanks, nor do I like the um, game mechanics it uses, which is the uh, health. Uh, eight, uh, health, uh, HP, uh, health bars and whatnot that a lot of tanks uses. That being said, I would like to try World of Tanks, but the new version, the 1.0, because of the graphics. I've been saying this on my Discord that the graphics there are so good that even the waterfall, if you looked at one of the maps on World of Tanks on the new 1.0, it looks amazing compared to War Thunder's Waterfall. Uh, give an example, Italy. It's horrible. It's shit. It's bland. It's not very in-depth. It doesn't give much contrast and it doesn't really look that nice. I mean, yes, maybe it is a good feature to put a waterfall in there, but please make it aesthetically looking, uh, looks pleasing. Given the fact that the game engine has been updated to Dagor Engine 5.0, I think it was. It's not really that much of an improvement. It's only done improvements to the shade, uh, to the um, what is it? The FSAA, the uh, the line, the lining on the buildings and whatnot. So it doesn't make all pixelated and all crusty and whatnot. And uh, improvements to the smoke and smoke particles and other things. But uh, you haven't really fixed up uh, other graphical um, issues there. So I would like to try World of Tanks just for the graphics. Only the graphics. If War Thunder, if Gaijin and Wargaming combined War Thunder and World of Tanks, it would have been the perfect game. You've got War, uh, you've got the War Thunder game mechanics combined with the engine game power, uh, game engine from um, World of Tanks, and there you go. You've got the perfect game. But do keep in mind, I'd rather keep the, mo the tank models and plane models from War Thunder. They're much more detailed than World of Tanks. Um, as for Girls and Panzer on the PS4, I don't have a PS4 just yet, unless you guys want me, uh, want to donate to my Patreon if I want to set up an account. So if I do set up an account, if you want to donate and I can get myself a P uh, you guys can support me for getting a PS4 and an Agatha card maybe. Uh, but at the moment, no, I don't have a PS4 at the moment. I would like to get a PS4 so I can play Project Diva F, F Second and, um... Future Tone, but an arcade, but I don't have a PS4 at the moment. Uh, almost Kentish, uh, what is what was the appeal of Girls and Panzer to you? What was my appeal? Well, um, it was actually quite a good slice of life military anime um, with its comedic uh, comedic moments and whatnot. And uh, yeah, although to be fair, in terms of realism, uh, Churchill's moving at like. 30 miles an hour, <laughs> 30 miles, an, well, 26 miles an hour, riding alongside a Panzer IV H on the film. Yeah, that doesn't really prove realism uh, in this film, in the uh, Girls and Panzer series. And uh, you could also definitely tell it's not very realistic. Uh, if you saw what was it? Um, oh, what was what was that moment? Um, Actually, you know what? Pretty much nearly everything is a bit broken and more like World of Tanks kind of physics. Yeah, drifting tanks, tanks moving at beyond their speed, uh, beyond their um, manufacturers would make them. And yeah, but uh, overall, the appeal of Girls of Panzer, really, really good anime to watch. And uh, if you put it in videos, uh, do keep in mind if you put it in uh, videos, you have to keep in, uh, keep in mind of uh, cringe factor and whatnot. It depends on what kind of content you want to use Golden Panzer in, but yeah, uh, I had my fair share with using cringe content of for Girls and Panzer in back in the past, and I do not like it back then. So nowadays, much of my Girls and Panzer content is much more appealing and pleasing to watch. So yeah, uh, Girls and Panzer, very good anime. I would much appeal it to anyone who wants to watch it. If you like slice of life, military, or even want to hear the um, the music, it's a good damn piece of music 
all the scores in it are so good, orchestrated and whatnot, and military themed. <laughs> uh, Kiv Vord Cod, you got 2,500 Golden Eagles from me last 18 July was my birthday. Really? I never noticed. Did I? No, I never noticed. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, Neptune 2, the Nepning. Uh, ooh, the Nepning. Ooh. <laughs> uh, why do you think your parents named you after all T's? Funny you should mention that because, well, the thing is, Rose Hip name is actually. The t it is a tea, but it's not the kind of tea that you'd normally drink. It's actually more of a med medical kind of drink. You don't normally find Rose Hip tea in the. Uh, normally in the tea and coffee aisles of your local supermarket or even Woolworths and whatnot um so yeah even like cranberry for instance she, uh she's not a um she's not a tea she's uh she's more of a berry yeah yeah cranberry uh and she's on the medical uh the uh lifestyle icon uh the aisle um, along with Marissa with the tea and whatnot so yeah i don't know about uh Darjeeling, Assam, uh orange petco uh well those are the noble sisters and yeah I guess you can give them uh, two names. I mean, yeah, to be fair, people do tend to name their, their child after many things, uh, you know, very abstract things. Uh, but T names, yeah, I think it's actually quite a good idea to use T names. Uh, they're actually quite nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lino Grimaldi, where did you get those animated intros of St. Lorena members walking the street and Rose of on the Crusader? Now, I've been getting some comments about these, and I've posted um, a, the intros uh, for one of them in my channel. Uh, uh, basically, I got these animated intros from a good friend of mine, Anime Gun. He's been doing a very fantastic job at doing my uh, intros, and he sent me also a birthday gift. If you looked on Twitter, uh, Twitter on the 15th of April, he sent me a cool fan art of uh, me getting a present. Uh, me as Rosip uh, Dajman giving me the present. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to go see that fan art, go onto my Twitter. Uh, just scroll down always on the uh, 15th of April, and also, and also, please follow me on Twitter as well. But yeah, I got uh, I got uh, Anime Gun to give. I gave him uh, basically a story, well, not a storyboard, but a um, a sketch of wh what the uh, intros would look like. And I got the idea from uh, a manga. From a a girl's name has a manga. Uh, uh, which actually featured the Noble Sisters crossing the, um, the sh crossing the street like the Beatles. So yeah, so that's how I got the idea. As for Rosehip on the Crusader, well, uh, it was a concept really because I sent him a clip of the Crusader and he animated Rosehip on the uh, Capola Commander's Hatch, her sipping tea, and then when I fired my gun. She gets started. <laughs> but yeah, please go subscribe to Anime Gum. Uh, really means a lot to him and re really means a lot to me. Uh, he's been doing other projects as well, so you go check out his, his content too. So uh, yeah. Okay, Expodo. Top or bottom? Where do you think, mate? Uh, I can't really pronounce that, but N3K1 underscore L1K. How did you find about Girls and Panzer? Where are you from? Why St. Gloriana and Rosehip? What is your favorite school that isn't St. Gloriana? St. Gloriana? And do you watch Ruby or know about the series Ruby? So let's go uh, one by one. So how did I how did I know about Girls and Panzer? Well, the interesting thing is, um, I came I came about the series Girls and Panzer, but by its music. Yes, I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen Girls and Panzer till I heard the music from one of my mates's um, train sim series, a uh, railway series, the 110th platoon, episode two, no, no, episode three, the major visit. In that video, he um, he used Girls and Panzer, th uh, Girls and Panzer themes and marches, and uh, I grown accustomed to those marches and, and music, so. I was interested to see where those music were coming from, and funny enough, that's how I found Girls and Panzer, and then I started to like watching the series, and the video, uh, and the, uh, the film, and the OVAs, and the soon-to-be more episodes of Das Finale. So yeah, that's how I came across Girls and Panzer, it was from its music, from uh, Barry Sergeant Major Iron Panzer LOL. So yeah. 
<laughs> Interesting, eh? Uh, where are you from? Um, well, I live down under in Welshland. That's all I'm gonna give you. That's all I'm gonna give you. <laughs> uh, why St. Gloriana and Rose Sip? Much like same with Rose Sip. Uh, I'm not gonna go gloss over with Rose Sip already, so I already said that. But why St. Gloriana? Well, which, as you can tell, most of my uh, uh, videos are British themed. And yeah, as you can tell by my accent. I've grown accustomed to the British accent, so uh, yeah, I think it is more fitting to use St. Gloria. But on a side note, St. Gloria is the only prestigious school ever that has also defeated Ori, but also is much more likable than any other school. I mean, I would have gone for Kuromaramine, but they're more stricter. I don't really like being strict and told what to do. But uh, with St. Gloria, it actually opens up to many things, like for instance, uh, in that one. Uh, drama CD, uh, Darjeeling was using her, uh, you know, her noble ways of, um, um, you know, teaching those who, the, uh, the ways of St. Gloriana, uh, of St. Chador, and, uh, in the end, uh, Darjeeling came to result that, uh, she, uh, Rose is very unique, it's something new to St. Gloriana, and they should actually, uh, you know, be grateful for that. They could actually learn from her, actually. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Saint Gloria, very good school. I can expand on that anyway. So yeah, what is your favorite school that isn't Saint Gloriana? Uh, I would actually like to say, uh, ooh, Chihatan maybe. I like I like Chihatan because of their uh, their good spirit, despite the fact fucking up so many times. But uh, in the end, they do get there. <laughs> What's Nikki? Anyways, um, do you know or watch the series Ruby? Yes, I do. And Ruby, Ruby is my bae. <laughs> uh, Nuclear Jasper, what got you into anime in general and specifically Girls and Panzer? We already glossed about Girls and Panzer, but what I got into anime? Well, the funny thing is, I started watching anime because it was on television mostly, and they're all bad dubs. You can tef you can definitely tell what I'm going on about. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Digimon, Yokai Watch, the lot. But what I got into anime was, but what I got into my first proper anime was when I came across an anime disc. Yes, I was watching on DVD. Don't judge me. I don't. I was not into. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't have much. I didn't have uh, internet back then. Uh, well, no, I did have internet, but it was limited. It was limited data. Uh, Enough about that. Uh, going off topic. <laughs> uh, but I got in. I picked up a random DVD, uh, anime DVD in the library, and took it back home and watched it. And I fell in love with it. And that anime was My Bride Is a Mermaid. And that is the f that is the proper, you know, classic uh, anime, as in like the old style, old school, um, you know. Uh, very likable waifus and whatnot, and uh, yeah, the art style is just something about it that makes it more comedic than modern, um, modern uh, anime. Unlike High School DxD, but that's just fan service. <laughs> and then afterwards, I started watching more and more DVDs of animes and whatnot in through the slice of life, and, and then I started watching online K on. Um, Bakuan, Lalot, and then I went to Girls and Panzer, and then I watched a lot more of military, which is like Strike Witches, Can Cole, uh, Arc Nova, which is Arpeggio, Blue Steel, uh, what was uh, High Fury, which is High School Fleet, uh, so forth and etc. Uh, a lot of Spice of Life actually I watched. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I got into anime. I first properly watched anime with My Bride is a Mermaid. Good classic anime. Highly would recommend you go watch it. <laughs> uh, the Odd Brit. Favorite tank? Centurion. Period. Next! <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me come back to that. Centurion. I only like the Mark 3 to the Mark 10. The Mark 1. Give me the hull, but not the turret. Take off the turret and replace it with the, the Mark 3 with the 17 pounder instead. And there you go. <laughs> I don't like the Mark 1 turret design because A, it was a flaw in War Thunder and yeah, it was a major flaw because it, it got nerfed to 127mm of pen, uh, no, armor, 
penetration. Um, it used to be 157, so that Tigers will not be able to punch through that much easily. But now, because it was nerfed, uh, I'm re uh, it's, a, it's a big weak spot. And that machine gun port doesn't fare too well either. So I don't really much like the Mark 1, only its hull and the co concept design of the Centurion I do love. So yeah. Um, World of Tanks or War Thunder from Jackie Jiang? War Thunder! What do you expect? <laughs> uh, Mad Dog 2803, why are you choosing Gloria as your company? I already glossed this over. Next! John Wick, Metroplex, heed the call of the last prime. What? Hot Rod, light our darkest hours. You got it, mate. <laughs> Mehmet Turkmen. Can you open Telegram channel? The thing is done. I don't want to open up a second channel just yet. Maybe when I get 100,000 subscribers, I will think about opening up a second channel. But I do have, I do post a lot of news and updates on my Twitter and Discord. So like I said in at the beginning, please go follow me on Twitter and uh, join my Discord server as well. I might start doing a St. Gloria news kind of segment, news videos and whatnot. I don't know, we'll see what there is interesting uh, news around there. Probably anime news or military news. I don't know, we'll just see. We'll just see. I'll, I'll mainly post updates on Twitter. Mainly on Twitter actually, but yeah. Uh, Sly Sky Diver 2585. Lol, never thought I'd get those 50. Lol, never get those 50. Anyways, I got the 50 anyways. <laughs> uh, hashtag Ask Worship. I really do want to know why you start, why you want to start this channel, why you chose a specific name, and where you go to, pl and where do you plan to go with the channel? Now, this is a very good question, and I'd like to expand on this. So, I'm going to talk about the history of the St. Gloria Gaming College. So, it all started back way in 2012, when I was a young lad, um, you know, growing up in high school, uh, with all my pubescent stuff and whatnot, all the hormones. <laughs> uh, don't go in, oh, I'm not going to gloss over into that. But anyways, I was into Train Simulator, I was also into Sonic, and Project Diva, Hatsune Miku and whatnot. I wanted to make a channel uh, for my Train Simulator content, uh, Sonic content and um, Project Diva. And so the birth of Miles Tails Prower, as it was first called, uh, was born. Then I started making some content using Bandicam, even Minecraft, but then that got abolished after like the third episode, <laughs> the third part. You know when back in the days when you had like Let's Plays, <laughs> you do like builds and whatnot and you just go in survival mode. That was back then and I had a uh, Hypercam, I think it was. No, no it wasn't, it was Marilla's Action that I used to record on my shitty old HP NB4 laptop. God, I hated it because I had an Intel graphic HD, Intel HD graphics 3000. Ugh, oh, God, I hated it. Anyways, um, and then I got into Hatsumiku Project Diva Extend and Second, so I wanted to do more content of that. And actually, and that's why I made the custom DLC tutorial, which has actually made a big hit back then. I got most of my view. I got most of my views back then from that tutorial. Uh, and then I made also train some content and whatnot. Uh, but then I, I had I went through the process of trying to get new channel names and this was a biggie for me back then because I was a Sonic fan so you know I was a Tails fan actually not a Sonic fan I, as in the Sonic uh, the Sonic team uh, the Sonic franchise I like Tails better that's why I was called Miles Tails Power uh, because I, I love Tails uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna gloss over to that I'm not gonna gloss over that so yeah. And then I changed my channel name to the Real Tales fan because uh, I saw the Real Sonic fan, so I thought, oh, I, I should take the idea of that and just change to the Real Tales fan. And then that got abolished, so I'm going to change it to the Tales of Japanese Gamer, which was actually pretty cool. Uh, 
Only back then I was using Camtasia Studio to do all my video editing. God, I hated it. Now, now I hate it. <laughs> uh, it was a pretty good editor back then, but uh, I feel like that's a bit underpowered now, so <laughs> I'm not going to gloss over to that. Uh, so yeah, and then I changed over to the Great Western Lord. But then back then, you had I did not know about how to make a YouTube channel. I did because I started my YouTube channel with, you know how you got those ones where you have the first name and last name. You can't have it all in one word. What I did was I found a YouTube tutorial on how to make your what how to make a YouTube channel be one word only in the first name and have nothing in the second name, which is basically put your channel name in the first one, uh, first name, and then put a period dot in the second. And now we'll actually cancel out, and then there you go, that's your YouTube channel name. Uh, without uh, the hassle to do first name and last name. Uh, but, uh, fast forward to 2014, I think it was? Early 2014, I hit 123 subs. And that was pretty epic for me back then, getting like over 100 subs. <laughs> I don't know why I overreacted over 100 subs. I think like that's what people tend to overreact when they get like, over 100 subs or 500. But you know, then you get up to over 1,000, and then you realise that's the better benchmark. And over 5,000, and it gets better and better. But going back to the topic, um, I wanted to change my cha channel to the Great Western Lord Productions. Only trouble is. I got into a problem with my channel when I changed my name, which was it got corrupted. My channel got corrupted, no joke. So I had to force, I had to shut down my old channel. It was gone. Tales of Japanese Gamer, Great Western Law Production was gone from 2014. I started my old videos, most of them, and that's where we got to 2015, September the 17th. Um, I want, I was. Back then, I wanted to actually restart my channel, so that's what I did. I still had my old content, I will re upload those and then start a new fresh life as the Great Western Lord Productions, and that's what I did. Uh, fast forward to 2016, I got my new PC, as you see uh, in my video list, uh, my new PC, uh, Rareworks Tests, and that's when it took off all my new content. Um, so, yeah. And fast forward today, look at where we are now. 5,000, over 5,000 subscribers. On the verge of going to be, go to 10,000 and whatnot, and uh, making much more better content than what I am used to. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna go gloss over with what I chose my specific name uh, because I already talked about that in the previous questions. Uh, where do you plan to go with the channel? I want to expand. But first, I want to I want to expand to other games. Um, yeah, definitely World of Tanks, but not just yet. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going with World of Warships at the moment of any wargaming related games. I want to start making some more go, uh, Train Simulator cinematics and maybe some extended length movies and whatnot on Train Simulator. And I probably will expand to other games as well, probably mobile apps, probably even my Nintendo 3DS, which is what I wanted to plan to do, but I never got the chance because uh, I'm afraid of the quality on the videos. So yeah, that's where I'm going to go playing with the channel, uh, basically more brilliant content, uh, and possibly even maybe expanding with other channels maybe I don't know I'm all I'm all by myself I've got others helping me maybe just supporting me and whatnot might even start patreon who knows so yeah and the last question John Damon King what is your favorite tank Crusader or the Crusader DS4 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 we will take Jerusalem DS4 sorry back off topic <laughs> got a bit there got carried away there uh, anyways uh, like I said before Centurion but if you want me to list other tanks that I have uh, have my favorite obviously yes it is the Crusader but that's on number two you've also got the Churchill mark 7 at number three I will actually go into Germans and would say the Panzer 4 F2 and the Panther F yes Panther F I like the Panther F uh, going to the Americans I, I like the Pershings and the Chaffee, because those are two plucky tanks that I love. 
uh, going to the uh, Russians only the BT5 because of uh, Ivan Polka uh, Finnish memes and whatnot and Chris's suspension for the win uh, going into Japanese I'd say would be the type 74 and the type 90 tank going into French actually I don't like anything in the French nor do I like anything in the Russians except for the BT the BT5 and BT7 yeah okay <laughs> anyways that does it for today's Q&A if you guys want me to do more Q&A please leave in the comments below hashtag ask Rosip. I might get to another video in the sometime in the future for another Q&A uh, and also please follow me on Twitter and also do hashtag uh, ask Rosip on Twitter as well I might also do yeah I might check on Twitter if there's anyone who wants to do ask Rosip. Hashtag ask Rosip on there. So yeah, leave your uh, post, your um, tweet there for me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subs. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, looking forward to the future. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys. And uh, always, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and, disc and join my Discord channel, uh, Discord server. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Panzer 4! Bye.